Welcome to the Estuary Works Monitoring Survey Application Video Tutorial Series. This is a six tutorial series and it explains how to use the Estuary Works Monitoring web and field apps. This is tutorial number four in the series. It's going to show you how to take monitoring photos and record near bank channel depth surveys at the work sites. So the main three things we'll cover in this tutorial are the relationship between the Field Maps app and the Survey123 applications and how they work, how to capture and link the monitoring photos in the Field Maps app to the segments that you're trying to survey, and the same for the near bank channel depth profiles. So just like before, I'd like you to now go and open your Esri Field Maps and sign in using the Esri account. Uh, login credentials. Okay, for this tutorial we're going to use an existing site. The yellow line feature represents an existing map segment where there's a Estuary Works remediation survey has been undertaken. So if we click on that feature, it'll highlight it, it'll bring up the segment ID at the top and it gives you the options to undertake a monitoring, uh, monitoring photo point survey or a near bank channel depth survey or in fact to repeat the Estuary remediation survey as well which we'll cover in another tutorial. Let's go ahead and select Monitoring Photo Point Survey and you'll see that automatically it'll open up the Photo Point Survey in Survey123 for you. Uh, you can see the segment ID and it's going to take a baseline survey. You could select a repeat survey if you like and you can select the photo type as well. Um, so usually you would select Photo Point and you can then take the photo. I'm just taking a photo of my computer screen here, but that's essentially that site we're looking at. You then get the option to name that photo and it'll automatically put the date time uh, for the photo in that field as well. Once you're happy with what you've entered there, you can uh, submit that. So you go down to the bottom right hand corner where the tick is and if you push that, that will submit the survey uh, details so the monitoring photo point will be attributed to that segment that you're interested in. You then can return to field maps by clicking on the very top left hand corner where it says field maps there. Okay let's have a go at the near bank channel depth survey. You see again it opens the survey123 app and you're straight into that survey and it's attached to that segment ID again. So usually we would select the survey type and then a distance from the bank uh, and then put the depth measurement at that point in. So you have a number of uh, selectable depths there, just choose one of those, it's appropriate. You then submit using the tick box again, and once that is submitted, uh, you will again return to Field Maps by pushing the button up in the very top left hand corner of that screen. So that will take you back to Field Maps where you started. If you want to see the practical application of this, I've got a site here that's got a number of depth uh, recordings and monitoring photos. I guess the advantage in the field is when you go back there, you're able to see the photos that you've taken previously. So if we select one of those photo buttons, it brings up the segment ID and the photo point. You can then click on that photo and see what it was like at the time that survey was done. You can also look at the depth readings. If we click on those icons and select one of those steps, uh, you can see that it was measured three meters from the bank and it was 0.3 to 0.4 meters at that time on that day. Okay, so that's a bit of a overview of how to put the photo monitoring points and near bank channel depths in. So you've completed tutorial four, well done. Uh, the next one is how to complete a follow-up survey at a site.